Said not to worry because they got a woman ready to take his place in the next movie. <laughs> He's gonna train a little daredevil girl. <laughs> Dare damsel. Yeah, yeah. Little 15 year old little girl. Geek is gonna love. Anyways, let's no, move on. Not really. <laughs> let's move on to the end of the night, Geek. Yeah. Uh, something that I guess we've been waiting for, or actually no mm-hmm. one's been waiting for, but we're gonna talk about it. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> there's nothing else to talk about, but apparently. There was a secret test screening for fucking Transformers Rise of the Beasts and shit. Oh, yeah. Well, I wonder what happened there. Well, I'm going to go ahead and read you what this guy who supposedly saw the test screening saw. And, uh-huh. and I think he's right. I think he's going to be true. Everything he says is probably real. And this movie's probably going to suck ass, according to this guy. Yeah. 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 Check this out. Uh, here we go. <clears throat> so, was it wrong? Apparently, the movie is a basic plot synopsis, and it says ah. that the Autobots and the Terracons, no longer, there's no Decepticons, these guys are called Terracons, are fighting over something called the Transwarp, because it warps you into, like, different genders and shit, I guess. <laughs> yeah. They're looking over these Transwarp keys. They need the keys to turn on the Transwarp so they can change, change genders, apparently. She says, the Autobots want them to go home, and while the Terracons want them to bring Unicron to Earth, they want to turn on and send a signal to bring Unicron. Kike, you don't know what Unicron is? Unicron is a planet-sized um, Transformer. Okay. Okay. It's a Transformer that's the size of a planet. He is huge and is round, and he, all he does is devour other planets. Basically, I was going to say it was a mythological fucking horse with a, cor- uh, a, a horn on his fucking head. He's basically Galactus. Okay. Yeah. There's one deception at the beginning. Uh, he, he there's one Decepticon in the beginning, and he mm-hmm. has no name, and uh, he turns into a bus. But uh, Optimus Prime kills him right away. Uh, Optimus Prime, he's gonna start the movie being distrustful and not liking humans, but he's gonna learn to like them and shit and start protecting them, just like every other movie. Bumblebee. Yeah. yeah nothing original there, which kind of upsets me there. Bumblebee isn't in it much. Damn it. The good movie that we just saw, the guy's not even in it. He says he talks radio like we're used to, which already got old. I don't know why they don't give him a voice. It's ridiculous that we keep hearing him talk through the radio. It's annoying. It kind of is. Nothing specific about his past adventures. I mean, this is a fucking like uh, a movie about robots and they're fucking high tech and shit. And yeah. he can't find another way to fucking talk. Yeah, yeah. Let's get a Bluetooth and put it here and be they like, they can't fix him. Yeah, it's oh, stupid. Guys. You know, like those guys that fucking smoke. Yeah. Nothing specific about his past adventures, but he does try to tell prime humans aren't bad. Mirage is the human friend of the film. Uh, he meets Noah, which is Anthony Ramos. We already saw in the trailer that guy, and uh, he's reminded, uh, reminded source of Sam and B, stolen car chase. Well, I don't know what that means. Uh, there's uh, an in- implied past relationship between RC and Wheeljack, and there's sexual jokes that are weird and random about like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like let me ride your two, let, let me fill you up with gasoline or some bullshit like that. They're gonna make some, <laughs> they're gonna make weird jokes like that that only robots know about. But they're sexual robot jokes. <laughs> let me let me lube your pipes, baby, and shit like that. They're gonna say shit like that. The wheeljack head change is unfortunately true. He has a genetic Autobot face with a big dorky glasses, not like Q's. Oh, they're gonna change the look of that fucking uh, original fucking Transformer. Remember that chick? Mm. The chick looks exactly like the way yeah. she's supposed yes. to. Yes. Yeah. Well, apparently wheeljack is not. That they're gonna change the head, God the face. Damn it, dude! Yeah. See, that's what fucking grabbed me from the trailer. I yeah. fucking saw that. that she's gonna like, look good. It looks just like that, dude. It's yeah. awesome. It's gonna be the same th- shit. Yeah. Nope. She's gonna look exactly like it, but apparently the guy's not. He's gonna have uh big dorky glasses like you, Kike. Basically, he's gonna look like Kike. Hey, fuck you. Yeah. Basically, I mean that's what he's describing. I'm just saying he's gonna be you, or you're in the movie. You're a robot. 
Heroes, they go to Peru and Machu Picchu, Kike. Mm -hmm. And that's where they find the fucking uh, Maximals and shit. Um, and uh, that... Because Peru has a jungle, I guess. Yeah, because they're in the jungle over there. And they say Peru that... Doesn't have a jungle. Yeah, yeah. The Erezor and Prime do most of the talking. The Cheetor and the, the Rhinox, they don't really talk. And Erezor is like a wise Maximal who uh, is used to becoming exposition for our heroes. I don't know what that means. Primal is a proud warrior who is tasked to guarding the keys. And Cheeto and Rhinox are just there. They're kind of just they're there. just there. Yeah, they're just there them. in the back. They're just there standing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Cheeto has a few lines and even says boss bot one time for the fans. Okay, boss bot. Oh, just like the cartoon. He said it one time with his, no. and that's like one of his three lines in it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and then Rhinox says one line the entire movie. <laughs> oh my God. What a piss yeah. off. And they all laugh what it a off. Piss off. Like, they all start laughing and be like, hey, you can talk? Holy shit. We didn't pay this actor enough to get lines in here. <laughs> We didn't even <laughs> knew this character could talk. <laughs> oh my god. They have a maximized moment. And he says, but the movie that I did see had PS2 graphics because they were still adding the CGI to it. So I don't know if it will look amazing. And then he says, the action is great, but it looks sloppy and messy, probably because the effects are not all in there. He's seeing blocks and shit. He says, uh, Erezord, which is the, the hawk, is attacked by the Terracons and is hacked and turned evil. And Scourge is the main Terracon and he activates the bean in the sky and more enemies come out and they fight in a big war like. And then there's no Predacons, only a bunch of Scorpionox. So there's a bunch of robots that are just all scorpions. Which is kind of uh... stupid. Every, like An army of scorpion robots I guess. <laughs> Which is What's stupid. the character that had like it was like terrorize? Oh, remember uh, that guy? Oh, uh, Terrazord. There was yeah. tons of bad guys. There was Terrazord, Waspinator, yeah. Waspinator, yeah, Waspinator. That Scorp was him. That was him. Yeah. Wasp. Uh, 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 what's his Scorpinox? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tons of them. Uh, fucking yeah. yeah. There's tons they could have used. Um, he says that there's a flashback that's bland. Uh. Then the museum who wants to work in the museum, but I don't know what the fuck this is talking about. Some bullshit about the humans. <laughs> There's no military, just suburban kids and robots. The main humans are Noah, which is Anthony Ramos, and Elena, which is a little bitch. I forget what her name is. And Noah's sick little brother as the largest supported character. Uh, there's other small roles, obviously, but they are most they're the most important. So that's what this guy says this movie is. And Just, this is how producers shit on everything that we learned as a kid. This is exactly oh what God. I feared. We both feared. I told you, Kike, mm, I'm excited because yep. it looks good. But this yeah. is not a Beast Wars movie. This is mm. a Transformers movie, meaning a yep. shitty movie with Beast Wars characters in it. Sprinkled Who's the on. director? Christopher Nolan? Uh, no, is it's it not, him? No, no, it's some fucking Arab, uh, Aborigine motherfucker with the curly hair. He kind of looks like he could have been one of my cousins. Jesus Christ, yeah, he, he looks like he could have been one of my cousins. I'm not gonna You lie. do look like, yeah, you would make a fire out of Yeah, yeah, you do. I'm just saying, I mean, he looks like one of my cousins. <laughs> God damn it. He might be black. Um, I don't know. I don't know. He might be black. I don't know. Hey, he's, son, you, he's not yeah. white. I'll tell you that. And you look like a tan, like a, 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 a white black guy, you know. Don't worry about our heritage, Kike La Haya. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, anyways. I mean, yeah, Wait, I mean, you get this yeah. fucking movie, you dick. I mean, according to this description, it kind of sucks. I mean, not kind of sucks. It kind of really fucking sucks. Uh, the, 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 if you remember Beast Wars from the early 2000s, late 90s, was it awesome. was a... Uh, it was amazing. They tied and it. Yeah, you go, you go back and watch the YouTube fucking videos, and you're like, "This is disgusting, it's horrible CGI." Yeah, it is. But that was the latest and the greatest back in the, the day. The story you know? is what's amazing, and the story was great. They too. tied. They it. had to adapt. They tied there it to the 1984 
but they yeah. had, they tied it to the 1984 series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But they got trapped in the past, and then the Transformers yeah. were there, crashed on the planet, dormant, mm -hmm. waiting to be blown up in 1984 to wake up to be the new series that we saw growing up. So they yeah. tied everything together, bro. Yeah, yeah. Did you ever see the the one that went after Beast Wars? It was called no. Uh, no. Beast Machine. I was already working. Beast Machine. Oh, here, here we go. Let me give you a sad fucking Tiny Tim Christmas I story. I... All right, Kika. <laughs> we'll wish you a all Merry right. Christmas tonight. We'll all fucking toss the coin in the air so you can catch it and buy a turkey and shit. Come on, tell the story. Fuck you. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> um, I'm disappointed in this description. And I think it's gonna yeah. be true. I think it's real. I think it's uh, real. they need to fix. I need to. They need to fix all this shit. They I, were going a certain way with Bumblebee. I, that movie was actually good, and now they're kind of fucking it up. Yeah, yeah. Bumblebee was actually good because they. Yeah, it was good, but not great. No. But it was going a certain way. That it was like, oh shit, it, it's getting. Yeah, this is the stuff that we wanted. It looks just like the fucking cartoon from the eighties, yeah. and it's 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 it, and it's violent. It's violent as fuck, dude. It's eighties all the fucking way, bro. In the Michael Bay ones, I guess you could say they were violent, but there was too much shit going yeah. on that I couldn't tell what was going on. When yeah. when the Transformers were fighting, it just looked up like a bunch of metal fucking smushing yeah. up against each other. I couldn't tell. Like a puppet with metal. Yeah, I couldn't yeah. tell if somebody's head was getting chopped off or if somebody was yeah. just punching somebody in the face. Like, well, I'm like, what's going on? Like, there's just metal yeah. everywhere and noises and shit. We like, want the fucking old school 80s, like, squared fucking design of the Transformers. That's what the, the robots look like, you know, like, for, for what we know. And then Nolan fucking made everything upside down. It was all like, well, like, they look humanoid, you know, like, what? No, there's Michael Bay. Michael, Michael Bay, Michael Bay, Bay. Michael Bay. Michael Bay. I'm Don't sorry, I'm sorry. just say Christopher I, Nolan. I am sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> I'm really drunk and it's almost Christmas, so we're having fun. Anyways, uh, yeah, fuck those fucking movies. I didn't like them. I didn't fucking believe the relationship with 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 that fucking guy and the big ass fucking like tall, big, busty fucking chick brunette. I was like, uh, you know, you know what I'm disappointed what? about this movie though, is that Cheetor has three lines. Yeah, yeah. Rhinox has one line. Yeah. There's no rat trap at all. Rat trap was the best, dude. He was my favorite fucking like character. He was always saying something funny. He was always saying, you know, like he was like, ah. And he was an yeah. asshole too. Yeah, he was. He basically he was, was, was the equivalent of Rocket Raccoon. Yeah, exactly. Except he was oh Boston. My God. His, his his voice was Boston, like a guy from Boston. Yeah. From well, Joyce. They're very similar. They're, they're very similar. They're very similar. Jersey and, and Boston. Boston. A little bit, not too much. Yeah, but they're very similar. But the thing is, like, but he was basically rocket. <sighs> he was an asshole. Yeah. And he would yeah. say, like, he was blunt and would say, look, whatever. Like, hey, you're just a dumbass and shit. That plan is stupid. Like, who that's does the, the voice of Rocket, that, that actor, the really good looking guy? Uh, I forget his name. One with the big I'm really nose. Bad with names. Yeah, yeah. Bradley Cooper. Big nose. Bradley, Bradley Cooper. Cooper. Yeah. I, I wonder if you watched that as a kid and maybe based himself in that. You know? Uh, maybe. Whoa. I don't know. I don't know. Well, that'd be, that'd be cool to know. I'm very disappointed. I knew this movie was probably going to suck ass. And now that I know, yeah. I mean, this is going to be real. This guy probably saw some finished shit and is going to look. Look, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna deny that maybe when they're fighting and all that shit's going <laughs> on, it's going to probably be badass. But already, I'm kind of pissed that the Maximals are just kind of there, and it's not really a story about the beasts and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh... And how many movies are we going to get Bumblebee with a fucking radio voice of songs? Can he please get a real voice already? I mean, there's technology nowadays that they, they, they can fix that shit. I mean, are they still basing themselves in the 80s? No, this is supposed to be... Are, are, are they going... Are they going through like the years? Like now it's the nineties. Like, I now this happens. I think it's the nineties, you know? because the cars, yeah. the cars look yeah. like nineties car. That Porsche yeah. looked like a nineties Porsche, there and that go. RC car. I mean, those cars we've seen in the trailer—they're yeah. not new cars, bro. They look like it's okay. the nineties. 
Well, then it makes a little bit more sense because they're like, oh, well, we still don't have like Bluetooth technology or all this, this shit, you know? This like, is supposed but, to but be. But they're supposed to be like, they're fucking like uh, an alien technology that fucking like, they're fuck. they know technology, man. Like, like they can't fix that shit, really? Come on, man. It is going to be, fuck, I, 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 I'm, I'm so pissed about that. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Hey, like shit like this, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel and check out the full podcast on the link to the right where we discuss more topics we don't post on these short videos. Peace.